Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Le Plata, where we are at war with the Frenchies. And we're basically doing as much as we can to try to defeat all of their forces. Um, right now, we're fighting in Austria, and we're defeating the Austrian armies over here. I am actually believe I'm not going to engage these guys too quickly yet. I'm going to wait for that 81 death stack to figure out where they're going to attack, and then I'll go attack the other, the other army. Because we don't want them to... You know, come after us this quickly. Alright, what do you guys want in the last little bit? Eight hour work days. Thank you, that's what I thought you guys wanted. I was like, eight hour work days, that sounds really nice. I would love to have eight hour work days. Like, seriously, eight hour work days is awesome. Okay, planned economy. Let's see. Upward a point, dismantle year. And yeah, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create this big, gigantic, you know, losing streak because. If I keep adding all these other things to them, we'll be gaining war score at a basically in hella fast rate. Okay, which is what we want to do. We want to make sure that we just keep getting war score after war score after war score and just overpower these guys with our war score might. Because that's what we do. And apparently, these guys are fighting against the Italians, which means they're going to be occupied for a little bit. Let's see. Italians. Oh, you're fine. The Russians too. Never mind. Italy's dead again. Um, also, this. What the heck happened with this? I have. They're having lots of rebellions, though. So that's not good. The nationalists. I are fighting them too. So is nationalism gonna win? I have no clue what's gonna happen with China. But China's been like a very interesting country to watch. Like, what in the world's happening with it? So, anyways. Um, the other region I want to add is this little region right over here. Because we have Madras. So French Madras, if we can add that. I don't know if it's a... Probably should look it up. What is it? Is it a... It's an actual colonial state. Okay. So Madras. French Madras. French Madras. Okay. There we go. We want to just keep adding these little tiny states to keep the war going. That way it keeps going in our favor. And let's see, okay. So the French they went that way. Wow, I'm just dealing with a ton of different armies around here. Okay. We're gonna destroy as much as we can. The British summit The British summit has appeared. We're destroying this army. Man, there's a lot of different people here. Okay, we're gonna can we get there before they get there? Yes we can. Alright, we don't, we want them to kind of break up, because I want to destroy the tank divisions of the French before they get grouped up with more powerful armies, because if, if they get more, if they actually get a decent, you know, army protecting them, that could actually cause problems for us. Okay, that's what we need to do, we just need to break them up, making sure they, okay, um, that isn't actually a good place to attack, because that gives them two defense. Uh, hills, dry force, movement, defensibility. It's three, it's three fort though. Hmm. 71 troops. All you guys are still losing pretty badly in my, in my head. And I'm just, I'm just like keeping all these tabs and all the like acquired points right now, which is good. You're about to lose that, which means I'll do the dismantle nation. Which war is upon us, there we go. Alright. Now that I got the dismantled nation, I believe even with all the you know, restrictions we sometimes have, I believe we're gonna win this war pretty quickly. Alright, and we're gonna see if we can win this battle. I'm not sure, but we're gonna try to. Oh wow, we're slaughtering them by millions. Wow, this is 54 against 1,052. What the heck? Do they have like no gas attacks, defense capabilities? No, we just are really good at what we do. Enemy of my enemy. You know what? Do it. Why not? Sister Leanne agrees. Yay! I don't know why we never called them into a war, but okay. They're retreating. <laughs> I mean, this must be really a frustrating for them because I have a powerful army they just cannot defeat. Yeah, look at that. I mean, now they're, now they're nothing. I can easily defeat them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is like... Slaughter. This is like, this is like letting them just be slaughtered at a massive industrial scale. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Okay, let's continue on with our defense capabilities. Um, as we slowly win everything, I mean, oof, I'm pretty sure we're going to win this. This war is basically won by us. We just have to keep winning these battles, keep getting them, you know, dead, Austria and them. And, I mean, we're winning these battles pretty quickly. Yeah, look at that list. Oh, my goodness. That's just, like, bloody. Bloody, man. Bloody. Okay. Let's go right here. Go destroy the 68K. Let's see. Um, how close are the other bigger armies of the French? Okay. America wants help. Doing what? What do you want, America? Turkey. Oh, my goodness. Turkey is not really on my priorities list in terms of what I wanted to fight. I mean, I didn't even think I would be fighting Turkey. So, you know, I've, I've been actually a terrible ally, I'll admit that. But I really don't want to fight Turkey. Oh my goodness. You should be helping me, America. That's who you should be helping. I mean, seriously, I've been helping... I'm helping us win this war right now. Seriously, you shouldn't be focusing on Turkey. You should be focusing on the great war. The great war that, that really... Really need your help. Like seriously, I've been winning a lot of battles for us. And then this battle is gonna end in democracy. So much democracy, man! Oh my goodness! And now we got a bunch of different people against us. Oh my goodness. France called in Scandinavia. Oh my goodness. Greece. What the heck? What the heck? That's a lot of different people against us now. So now I got now I got the entire, I'm going to soon have the entire French army over here fighting me. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's see. How did this war turn out? So war, war, war. Italy is, is somehow on our side. That's not good because then that means that, um, Yugos, uh, so, are, are you guys a part of our war, or are you guys not a part of our war? I don't think you guys are a part of our war. But, let's see. So, the war is now basically uh, all you guys versus us. Also, a little bit of you guys. Indonesia is now a part of it. Oh, shoot. Ooh, the Dutch are now a part of it, which means that means we actually have to guard down there. Gunzon's a part of it. What? Gunzon? Why would you guys do that? I did nothing to you. America's now finally starting to invade and help me out. Okay. Um, we're going to go destroy this army. And then we're going to go up here, go destroy this Dutch army. Then we're going to be good. Wow, I'm about to have a big, gigantic surge of Frenchies, Dutch, everyone coming in. Which is going to be really difficult to defend, I can already tell. Oh my goodness. And now we got the Dutch over here, which... Means we'll probably, if we play our cards right, we'll probably own all of Ghana by the end of this, by the end of this war. So let's go conquer the rest of Ghana. Oh my goodness. Wow. And we basically got what we needed to. We're almost about ready to, sur about ready to surrender. Which is good. Let's just go, let's just go see if we can go win this battle right here quickly. Go destroy some like easily defeatable Netherlandian troops because I'm pretty sure Netherlands is worse than the French and all those other guys. So let's go destroy them. Yeah, it's it's not even. Oh my goodness, that's just slaughtering them. Oh wow, oh wow, just not even a competition, just brutally un. Not not even not even. Not even a competition, just slaughtered of uh, all Imperial scales. Oh my goodness. And now I'm about to get invaded by like six different nations. Oh my goodness. You guys are getting... Wait, are you guys my ally? Hey, you know what, Britain? Come help us out. You know what, this could redeem yourself. Okay, good. You know what, you are now... Britain, if you guys could come help us out and start invading the uh, Frenchies... Everything that we have had problems with with you will be redeemed, okay? We will no longer be enemies, but be actual buddies. Hopefully, hopefully my guys will be able to defend themselves. Oh yeah, they're destroying the other, like, uh, other India that tried to fight us. Yeah, other India, you shouldn't have done that because my India is way more powerful. They've had independence for way longer. Like, way, way longer. <laughs> 
just China was having difficulties. Wow, this became... This, guys, this became an international incident at the very end of the game. This is like... Holy moly, we have everyone fighting against the war. Oh, wow. And Liberia is, I think, on our side. Yes, Liberia is on our side. Oh, wait, no, they're against us because we actually seized that up before. So, yeah. Okay. We're going to... Can we add any more war score? Yes, we can. Yes. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Okay. I'm going to go to Netherlands. Add Ghana, the region of Ghana, to us. Uh, Bonian Islands can do it. Add... Quiet state. No, can't do that. Okay, it must be placed under the sun. Add the Dutch province of Ghana. That way we have even more war score to be adding to us. And that way we just have to sit here and wait for it to all accumulate. And considering that they're never going to send an army down here to come fight me, this is going to be good. Over here in our African provinces, we are crushing all French resistance. Even with the fact the French have more men than us, we have better trained men. And honestly, we are winning without a doubt. Let's say that. We're winning without a little bit of doubt. Like, just crushing. Crushing these guys. Oh, my goodness. Let's see, do we have the maximum amount? Okay, we have the maximum amount of efficiency that we can ever get. Let's see. Let's see, I'll get that. I'll disquire that, disquire that, disquire that. Um, they would not accept this offer. Bats. Okay. So we have as much as we can get out of the actual sieging part. Just keep going. Okay, yeah, we basically have as much as we can get. And the British are now helping us out. I think... Hopefully the British are not helping us out. I, I think actually the troops were still destroyed from last battle. But it'd be a good sentiment if they actually did help us out. And my guys, hey, guys, go send your armies up there. You have bigger armies than them by a lot. I expect you guys to be protecting me. Over here, Canton's probably going to get taken over because I don't really care about Canton. And wow, this became like a big affair at the end of the game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, um... So we have two different gigantic armies, which I'm gonna go squish. So we need to go squish these armies before they become big, bigger threats. Um, America is still not helping us out that big of a deal. They're still dealing with their, you know, Turkeyian threat, which is annoying me. And... You know, Italy... Can I call you guys in? Nah, I can't. Dang it. Okay. Well, America is basically crushing all of the French, like, reboots or starter ups or whoever you want to call them. He's, he's, he's crushing all the ships, which is good. And we're just kind of sitting here like, wow, what has the world come to? We can now build dreadnoughts, which, why not? Heck, why not? At the very end of the game, why not let some dreadnoughts fly? Okay, and let's see, I think that might have been a surrender flag from the, from the, no, you guys still don't want to give up? Okay, let's see, let's go crush you guys, let's go crush you guys, and go crush these guys, got my technology, go down here, <laughs> wow, this, wow, this conflict, man, this is, now this, if there's any way to end a let's play, this is how you end a let's play. Let them go, let them go. Uh, Ecuador, you guys chose the, well, actually you guys chose the best time to revolt because I actually can't fight against you right now because it's the end of the game. Oh my goodness. Let's see, we're going to go destroy all these French troops. I mean, considering this is one army defeating all these armies. Oh man, this might, they might actually be able to hold me here if that, other Netherlean oh the other Netherlean troops didn't engage oh my goodness they actually could have held me oh my goodness okay and we're just we're trying our best to keep them um, Brunei acquires Malaya yeah we're getting a bonus from that too 
Oh my goodness, so many bonuses. So many things. Netherlands, you guys will die with a burning, burning heap. And I will claim as much as I can. Oh my goodness. Okay, go up here. Go up there. Oh my goodness, wow. Just wow, just wow. I'm going to destroy all you guys. Luxembourg's also at war with us. Wow. I really made people mad if Luxembourg's mad at me. Okay, let's see. We got a couple different armies. Let's go back here. Go crush this one. Go crush this one. Go crush this one. Then go crush this one. Okay, we should be able to deal with all that because it's really easy armies. And we're honestly crushing Africa's. Let's go down. Keep Just keep going down. Technological tree. Uh... French are basically occupying all of our friends' lands. Oh my goodness. This is a war, man. This is a total war. Like, this is everything what a total war should be. They will accept this offer. Sadly, I do want to disembark. I do want to dis... If I, can make, if I can make you guys disassemble your empire, then I've officially, I think, become the most mightiest country in the game. Like, seriously, dismantling the French Empire will basically make me the most mightiest country in the game. And I can't take that opportunity lightly. So I must do it. Okay. And let's see. Austria is fighting on multiple fronts. Uh, my allies are basically keeping them at bay. They're like, yeah, you want to come mess with me? You want to come mess with me? Um, you know, just for fun, let's see. Uh, add to sphere because I want because I want to go kill these guys over here in the Indian provinces. I'm basically gonna get a war score to add to sphere, then go conquer them, so we can end this war over here, get more war score, and get more land conquered. Cause I can keep fighting this as much as I can, but I need some occupation. Oh my goodness, India, Britain's sending troops. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Last year, man. Last year. Come on, can we finish this in one year? One year, man. It's all we need. One year. Oh, gosh. Come on, France. Give up. France, give up. Ah, oh, they're not going to give up. Come on. One more year. Okay, I'll declare one. These guys just will get these guys at war. Then all you guys can just go steamroll and go kill these guys. Which is exactly my pet. My clan. Ha 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 ha. See, come on, get get it. To get the war score. Ooh, and then we're crushing all you guys. Wait, we're not crushing all you guys? What? Okay. Boom boom boom. Okay. There we go. Crush all of these armies. There we go. And just keep crushing them. Just keep on crushing them. Okay, get that done with. Okay, yes, yes. Build dreadnoughts. Build the mighty dreadnoughts. Even though I don't think they'd be much of use at this point in the game. Build dreadnoughts. Yes. <gasps> I finally built. Oh my goodness, I finally built these. Wow, it took me almost the end of the game, but I finally built them. Good. Okay, but we have to stay focused. Okay, we're destroying the rest of the Netherlands troops again. Okay, let's see. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Okay. Right. Now we got this done with. We need to do this. Just go to Baroda, declare war, add a sphere. Just don't call in my specific allies. You come in. Yeah, you guys have to. Alright. And then you guys go destroy. Yes, go destroy these guys. Go send your entire army to finally go wipe out both these guys and these guys. That's what I need you guys to do. Over here in Africa, we basically defeated all the major big armies. Like, I think we defeated... Huh. I think we did defeat all the big armies. Let's see, general subsidies. No, you guys don't really want either, so I'll give you acceptable minimum wage. And... Africa, you guys can actually come in now. Now that I feel like it's safe for you guys to come in, you guys can come in. Because I don't feel like we're actually, you guys will be a major hindrance now. Now that I basically defeated most of the entire French army over here in Africa. Okay. There we go. 
go send your armies in at your own discontent. Alright. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for probably the last episode. So, see you guys next time. Welcome everyone to another episode of Lip Plotter, and for all intents and purposes, this will probably be the last episode that we record today, because since we are so close to the end of the game, this is most likely going to be it. I wouldn't like to say that this Let's Play has been, you know, and that shouldn't be sad, because this Let's Play has been a fun, fun, fun Let's Play with all sorts of different twists and, you know, different things happening. I mean, it's not like it's a sad Let's Play, it was definitely a good Let's Play, and... I'm happy to see this Let's Play played this through, you know, played through, and finally we get an answer to the Chinese, to the Beijing and Nationalist China. Beijing China basically became China. So, if you guys ever wondered who was the main, who was real China, that who, that is who real China was. Beijing. Very confusingly though, Beijing. <laughs> okay, we have... Most of the gigantic armies over here have been squashed, like I said. Um, yeah, my African provinces are now just going to go in and go siege up, you know, most of these guys without much care. Because, like, well, they can't really do anything. And, yeah, France is not going to give up too easily. But now that we got my own African provinces just, like, sieging up all this, that should help me out because I already defeated most of their armies, so... All they're going to be doing is just conquesting and, oh wow, they're sending in a bunch of armies to come attack me. Oi, man. And then over here, do I still got these blocked up? Yes, I do. There was a Scandinavian force that apparently attacked and almost defeated me. But I held strong and somehow defeated them. That is a good day right there. When I don't even know what the battle was and I won. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey. Did you like an alliance? No, South Africa does not want an alliance for me. They're like, yeah, keep us out of this war. Oh my goodness. Okay. And as you guys can see, we just instantly defeated all of the... All of these guys. My little vassal just stormed everything. Oh my goodness. And they're defeating all the other little civilized nations because this is basically my land. So, yeah. Okay. And to you, I'm going to add... Make puppet, because I'm at the end of the game, and at this point, it doesn't really matter what I do. I'll be real here. It doesn't really matter what I do. I'll be able to do whatever I want to at this point. And we got all that land occupied. 61. You guys about ready? No? Still? You guys are still willing to go fight this to the bitter end? Okay. I'm fine with that. If you guys want to fight it. We can fight it to the bitter end as far as you want. Luckily, my friends over here in Africa are sieging up all your land, so you should be able to lose less. And, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The end game, we still are slaughtering tons and tons of men. Just slaughter after slaughter after slaughter. That 178 men, though, right there is really kind of scary me. And apparently, America being defeated is also kind of scary. And, oh my goodness. Yeah, we're not going to end this war, people. We're not going to end this war, but I got to admit, this is a pretty fun way to end this Let's Play. Like, out of out of a lot of different Let's Plays I've ended, this is... No. If anything, you guys are losing your guys' independence, you guys are going to become my vassal. Yeah. Until you guys learn to become vassals of mine, you guys will be targeted and killed. And these guys can mobilize, so I'm not even worried if these guys get dead. Because these guys will live. Hindustan, too, will live. Also, they became in my sphere, which, by the way, my sphere is still pretty powerful. At the end of the game, I'm still a very powerful nation. Just less so. Well, I'm very powerful, actually. I own, like, a good amount of the world. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And the amount of fights we were in, in the world... Definitely shows that. I'm fighting real, I think I'm finally fighting real French troops here. That's why they're finally giving me much more of a headache. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see, France. Still don't want to give up. They want to fight this to the bitter end. Okay. They're actually sending a lot of troops over here, which is amazing. After the Tongo! Yay! The Tongo! But I think 
I think if if we had enough time to fight this war to conclusion, I'm pretty sure I would win this. Just because of all the stuff I do, and all the things I continuously do to fight these guys off. I'm pretty sure in the end I would win this. Especially considering I also have all these different things that are like French Guiana. Wait, what? I have French Guiana. Oh my goodness, what the heck? Hey, hey, Scandinavia. Scandinavia, get the heck out of here. What the heck are you guys doing in my land? I don't, what? What are you doing in my land, Scandinavia? What the heck? What the heck? Yeah. I have no clue what these guys are doing in here. They just randomly popped up. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I think I would have won eventually, but I think it's... Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's just go to conclusion guys as we just watch I mean I'm getting kind of overwhelmed now but it took them um, years to try to get even a fraction of men against me and I'm still having a good enough army around here to fight them and my African provinces are coming up pretty quickly oh my goodness uh, look I'm still destroying them like even with that I'm still destroying them so I don't know I don't know at the very end who would have won this war, but I guess the world will never know. <laughs> uh. And the Scandinavians, of course, are getting defeated over here. I think the war is... So everyone, 100 momentous years have passed and we have entered the modern age. The world is radically different place. How did your country do? Well... At the end of the game, I was the fifth power in the world behind Germany and all these other guys. Although, technically, if I was really counting, I should be like right about here because I would have destroyed these two. So, really, that and yeah. You guys can look at the ledger if you want to. Um, total scores of everyone. Uh, brigades, who had the most brigades, ships, uh, national values. Democracies, rulers, ideologies. Uh, this isn't really important. Actually, did we have any? Did we have any slave countries alive? Yes, we did. We had about this many slave countries alive. Portugal is probably the biggest one. Yes. Uh, let us see who had the most capitalists in the world. That was Germany with a ton of capitalists. And who had the most laborers in the world? That was the UK. I mean, the United States. Uh, we actually came close. We came half of his number. Um, who had the most slaves, I guess? Korea. Yeah, that's totally correct. Uh, the most population in our country was Bombay. Or, I guess, in the world, Bombay. Amistad was the second, and we conquered that. Uh, all these other stuff, too. Cotton. And, yeah. Well, that's it, everyone. I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a fun, fun campaign. Playing as Argentina and then eventually Le Plata. It was exciting, thrilling, and that conclusion, man. This is this was a great conclusion to this Let's Play, and I'm so glad you guys got to see it. And, yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next series, which will probably come out in a couple days. So, see you guys then.